Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I think last week when I spoke to you, I was actually just heading off uh, to the reception at number 10 Downing Street. I guess, you know, you can, you can monitor success by when you know that everybody else is, is effectively pinching your campaign. So it probably doesn't come much better than number 10 and the Prime Minister deciding that you've got a great strap line and, and they want to be part of that as well. So they hosted a big Back British Farming Day event. There were a lot of uh, farms there. We were able to get a lot of our regional council members, commodity board members uh, at the event, which was hugely appreciated. And I also was given um, five minutes with the Prime Minister on my own beforehand with Farming Minister Mark Spencer. These meetings are always absolutely critical and, and often the way in the past is, is how we've got things over the line. I remember back with Boris Johnson when we had 10,000 in a seasonal worker scheme. So it might not seem much and many of you probably frustrated um, by the sort of constant PR that everyone seems to be involved in. But those one on one meetings are really, really important to have. Um, as you can imagine, it gave me the chance to re Force the importance of getting uh, the SFI right, um, welcoming the forward payments, but making the case that this isn't for everyone. You know, we represent nearly 50,000 farmer members. I want all of my members to be able to access new, this new scheme. So it's fair to say politicians across all parties are really listening, really engaging. Therese Coffey on that day talked um, very openly and positively about using every tool in the toolbox to deal with bovine TB, the importance of the farmer-led badger culls which have really really driven change and the ability to be able to keep doing that. She also talked about maintaining glyphosate and other things. But a word of, of warning, particularly on bovine TB, we are determined not to see this disease politicised. The last thing I want to see is the Conservatives saying effectively we are going to be killing badgers and Labour saying we're not. So it's really important that there is agreement behind the scenes that we will deal with this disease and we want all parties to focus on, on that one message. Um, uh, a lot of people helped support that day, which turned into an incredible day. Hugely thrilled to see Jeremy Clarkson, who is of course an NFU member, come out and put a really positive tweet out to support us all. And Jamie Oliver, who many of you will remember, did so much to support us through the standards campaign. I was able to message Jamie in the week and say, do you think you could do something to support us? And he did, as he always does. So huge thanks to them. They really are very, very powerful influencers. And to you, to our members, there were enormous numbers of hits throughout the day on, on social media. There were nearly 40 pickups in, in the media, in media press as well, both regional and national. Zoe Ball on Radio 2 was having a big shout out because it's Fat British Farming Day. And that we were seeing being reciprocated uh, right across the day. And of course, Luke Evans by British Button really gaining traction. And, you know, it's something that, that I'm personally really determined to get over the line. We've been talking about it for a long time. It needs to happen. And retailers need to be able to show the transparency of what buying British really means. We hosted our SFI live event and I think the numbers that signed up to be part of that is really telling. So we had well over a thousand people uh, sign up wanting to get an update um, from our experts in this field. Uh, Claire Robinson, who's been leading very much on the technical detail. Richard Wordsworth was on the call and of course um, led by David Exford, Vice President, who's been leading a lot of the policy work on this. I opened it up just with I guess a bit of looking back why we've called for what we've called for um why this is this is far from in the right place you know this is about the few and and not the many at the moment and, and i want to see a scheme that is fair to all farmers that is accessible to all farmers but i hope for those that joined it was a real helpful update on, on where we are right now and understanding the technical detail and I think that in itself says a lot, the fact that so many people wanted to be able to hear what this means for their business. Obviously, individually, it's difficult to answer those questions one on one, but I think everybody went away uh, a lot wiser. And if you want to catch up with it, please go to NFU online and, and have a look through. I'm sure it'll be really informative for every business out there. 
So as ever, wherever you are, you can see it is finally sunny on this farm, but my goodness, after 40 millimetres of rain uh, in the last few days, it's been extraordinary weather, it really has. So I hope you're well, please do take care. Many thanks and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.